the origin of Aleposopa's unknown, unverified claims of its great antiquity abound, such as its supposed use, supposed use by Queen Cleopatra of Egypt and Queen Zenobia of Syria, it is commonly thought that the process of soap making emanated from the Levant region, of which Aleppo is the main city, and to have moved west from there to Europe after the First Crusades. That was a long time ago. This is based on the claim that the earliest soap made in Europe was shortly after the Crusades, but the soap was known to the Romans in the first century AD. Today, most Aleppo soap, especially that containing more than 16% of laurel oil, is exported to Europe and East Asia. So this was from Turkey, and it is 20% laurel oil, which is the natural antiseptic. So we get ours from Amazon, and however you say remedis or remedis. Remedis. Remedies. I don't know. Uh, but basically you can, uh, yeah, I did a little research to find, make sure it was the original ingredients. Uh, and this one is product of Turkey. As you can see, that's pretty close to Syria. Um, and there are other countries that do make it, but just make sure you're getting one and you read the ingredients uh, to get the authentic Aleppo soap that is in the traditional style. And a lot of them have this stamp on them. And that's a telltale uh, the smell is a telltale if oh, you're yes, getting authentic is. soap. So I've never felt so clean. Oh yeah. Washing the lather. And here is this brand's description: all natural, authentic olive oil soap, handmade by using two thousand years old artisan production techniques, distinguished by addition of twenty percent natural antiseptic laurel oil. Aleppo soap disinfects skin without over drying or causing irritation. After each use, it makes skin refreshed, soft, mm -hmm. and moisturized. Aleppo soap can be used daily as body wash, shampooing care, face mask for cleansing, and as natural shaving cream. Shaving cream. Hmm. Oh, <clears throat> I might be trying that this weekend. And lasts longer, which that's also true. It lasts yes. months. Like, Forever. you use this for your whole body. So I use it on my face. Honestly, um, I have replaced all my expensive face soaps and i only use this for my face sometimes i use it on my whole body but i'm using my philosophy right now i'm finishing that up mm -hmm. so since december it's we still have the second bar that's not gone yet but we ordered more um that's for when that runs out but six months to use two bars. But I'm telling you, I would never go back to any of my fancy face soaps again. This is my hands down absolute favorite face soap. I, and I have extremely, extremely dry skin. Extreme, extremely dry skin. Yeah, you just skin. feel super clean. Like it's once you best. wash, it's just and refreshing. Like I once you come out and dry this. off too, mm -hmm. you feel it's like mm -hmm. refreshing. I love it. And I'm not like one of those people that cares about any of that stuff. <laughs> I am. But I notice it. <laughs> so I do keep using it. So I use it mostly as a face wash also, but sometimes the um, shampoo magically disappears from our shower because one of our children will take it and I'll be in there. And, I'll, and even though I don't have much hair, because uh, I keep it short, I do, I do use a <laughs> tiny bit of shampoo. Um, and I'll just use this if there's no shampoo in the shower. It basically comes in a clear wrapper like this on all three bars and a little brochure yeah. that advertises for some more products by this company. And then Remedis. each bar is wrapped too. And then each bar is individually wrapped. And then a little card explaining just the Aleppo soap, which is everything I just read. Um, there is a caution, avoid contact near eye area. So obviously it's still soap. And if it gets in your eye, it may sting. But so, it hasn't, because yeah. I wash yeah, my eye wash makeup all off over. with it. And it hasn't stung my eyes yet. But I'm not going to say it's not going to sting your eyes. So some I'm people, that some out people there. may be more sensitive than others, yes. though. So it may sting your eyes. But yeah. it just says but I plenty wash with put it everywhere. Flush immediately with plenty of water. Mm -hmm. If rash or irritation occurs, stop using and seek medical assistance, which any product's going to have that label because no one wants liability of injuring someone else. Yeah. <laughs> when I yeah. bought this and she was like, what the heck is this? I sent her a link to the video I had seen of the process of making the soap. I watched the whole thing. It was really, it was like a half hour or something. 
but it was fascinating. I got sucked in. It was one of those videos where you just get sucked in. And at first I was like, huh? But it is very interesting. Okay, so traditional Aleppo soap is made by the hot process, which we watched. Um, first, the olive oil is brought into a large um, in-ground vat along with hot water and lye. Underneath the vat, there is an underground fire that heats the contents to a boil. Boiling lasts three days while the oil re reacts with the lye and water to become a thick liquid soap. The laurel oil is added at the end of the process and after it is mixed in, the mix is taken from the vat and poured over a large sheet of wax paper on the floor of the factory. At this point, the soap is a large green flat mass and it is allowed to cool down and harden for about a day. While the soap is cooling, workers with planks of wood stripped to their to their feet, strapped. strapped to their feet, walk over the soap to try to smooth it out the batch and make it like an even thickness. The soap is then cut into cubes. The cubes of soap are stacked in staggered cylinders to allow maximum air exposure. Once they have dried sufficiently, they are put into a special subterranean chamber to be aged for six months to a year. That's crazy. While it's aging, the soap goes through several chemical changes. The free alkaline content alkaline. Alkaline. The free alkaline content of the soap, the alkaline in which which did not react with the oil during sponification, break down upon slow reaction with the air. The moisture content of the soap is also reduced, making the soap hard and long lasting. And lastly, the color of the outside of the soap turns pale gold while the inside remains green. Modern Aleppo soap were manufactured using the cold process and contain olive oil and laurel oils and may contain a variety of herbs and or essential oils. So that's what's left of our second bar. And you can see what it was referring to, the gold outside and the green on the inside. So if this sat longer without use, the whole thing would turn this color mm -hmm. goldish or tannish. And then once you start using it, it gets to the center and you see the more green. I was reading that they um, said this soap is very good to bathe um, your infants and babies in. Yep. Well, and it's uh, known for helping with acne too. So I guess if you have oily skin and that's the cause of your acne and it's not like a, chem it a chemical thing within your body that's causing the acne. If it's just a matter of cleansing, mm -hmm. uh, this is... That's one of the things that I had researched when I had ordered it for you for a stocking stuffer. Um, that was one of the benefits that I had seen. It's seriously, like, if you... I know some women get very set on their face soaps, and I was one of them. Um, but I am telling you, I will never go back to any other face soap. I love this soap as, like, my everyday face soap. I use it twice a day. I absolutely love it. I actually wish they made this into like a lotion form so I could substitute my lotions and put it on after I wash my face with it um, as a lotion. It's it's just the best. I'll never go back to any other soap. Like I said, we get ours on Amazon, so I'll link that down below so you can get it yourself. They do sell, like I said, I think you get single bars, double and triple. Um, so if you want to get just one bar to try it out. We're going to keep continue to find different products that we really love. Yeah, we'll do product reviews. This is actually our first product review. We I have another one reviews, that I'm going to do. Um, I just got another product that I was mind blown by. That I was like, this is amazing and I need to share it. I shouldn't keep this to myself. So look for that product review in the future too. So subscribe to follow along the channel and comment below if you already use Aleppo soap or maybe use another product. If yeah, you're well, familiar other, with I this company, Remedis, yeah. let us know in the comments below. All right. Last tag.